Uh, this is my G-Mac taken apart. The bearing exploded. This is the inner race for it. That's the outer race for it. Those are some of the ball bearings. This is where the sealed bearing system should have been. This is a new one I'm going to install. But this bearing here on the, ins on the outside is shot too. But this one was totally disintegrated and I couldn't find the wall bearings. There weren't enough in there. So when I looked inside here for the magnets for the hall sensors, if you look at this, that's that's the ball bearing. And there, I wiped some of these down, so all the ball bearings that I'm missing are are there. And just to show you that, that's where that would stick. So, but considering that, I'm going to clean this out. I got a new, a new bearing to put in. I checked this out. Doesn't look like there's any damage whatsoever. It still spins nice and so. I'm going to reassemble this with the new freewheel or cassette. And I'm going to see about replacing the bearings on this. So when this goes in another 15,000 kilometers, I can just swap it out without having to buy a whole new system. Yeah. So I guess we can So the gears look good. I'm not gonna pull it apart on one handed right now. But I'm gonna take it apart and clean it up and reset the gears and all since I'm in it and so yeah. Crush ball bearing matter on the on the hall sensor magnets but other than that I'm pretty impressed it's a pretty beefy beefy hub I'm pretty happy with what it is it's not as light weight as you know I was sort of expecting but yeah no it's turning out to be pretty cool so I'm gonna install the new freewheel or cassette or mechanism and lace it back up and there you go sweet